What's up guys? We're back. It's Friday. You know what time it is. Time for What the Fitness. This week we have a video from Time Investors. Let's see. <laughs> Finally! The Instagram Facebook fact checkers have got one right. Basically it says that independent fact checkers have verified that this video is false information. Holla freaking Luya. All right guys, I'll catch you later on now. Ensa loves sugar. The fact oh. is that a cancer cell consumes 15 times the glucose of any other cell. Cancer also loves an acid environment. The most acid forming foods are meat, sugar, <laughs> caffeine, alcohol. And guess what is the most acid substance you can put into your body? Oh, Refined sugar. Oh. Nothing wrong with the sugar cane. Just All those minerals alkalize it up, but when they extract Wait, the what? sugar out of the sugarcane plant, it becomes a pure acid. Cancer <laughs> hates... Well, I'm... What? <laughs> Wait, so sugar in sugarcane is fine because the minerals alkalize it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. It's the most acid substance you can put in your body. Oh my God. Somebody help me. So, um, so my invitation to you all, uh, get a, a piece of litmus paper, which is cheap to get and can show you the pH of a solution. Take a bunch of sucrose, refined sugar, put it in the water, and then measure the pH. Guess what? The pH of the water won't change. It's not an acidic compound. It doesn't form acid inside your body. This is complete nonsense. Alkal alkalinity coaches or whatever, they just literally pick out the foods that they like and they say that they're alkaline. They pick out foods they don't like and say, oh, they're acidic. It's complete freaking nonsense. And even if a food is acidic, it has to go through the process of digestion. When it goes into your stomach, it is exposed to high concentrations of hydrochloric acid. Literally everything that leaves your stomach and goes into your small intestine is acidic and is then neutralized in the small intestine. Saying something that you eat is gonna cause your body to be acidic. If I'm on a battleship that's going 20 miles an hour in the ocean, very large, very large battleship, and I hang a 100 horsepower engine off the back of it and have it start turning. Is it increasing the speed of the battleship? Probably not. I mean, maybe by like 0 .00001 miles per hour. It's such a small effect, it is not going to be noticeable based on the overwhelmingly large freaking engines pushing the ship. That's like saying food you put in your body is gonna somehow make your body acidic. When everything you eat literally goes through high concentrations of hydrochloric acid. And then when you realize that different compartments of our body are supposed to be different pHs. Not every tissue has the same pH. Not every compartment of your body has the same pH. Yes, if you take cancer cells in a Petri dish and you put them in an alkaline solution, they die. Also, if you put them into acidic of a solution, they die. Is some of what she says kind of true? Yes, many cancer cells are metabolically dysfunctional. They lack a mitochondria or have dysfunctional mitochondria where they are obligate glucose users, but not all cancer cells. In fact, many of them can actually use ketones as fuel. So this idea that you can simply just not consume glucose or sugar and somehow cure cancer is not supported by really any research data. Now, there may be some very specific cancer cell line types that can be helped by like a ketogenic diet or that sort of thing. But if you have cancer, you should talk to your oncologist about that. And it doesn't mean you need to go low carb to prevent yourself from getting cancer. The research doesn't show that. Just like you don't need to go do radiation treatment when you don't have cancer in order to prevent it. You don't need to go do chemo to prevent yourself from getting cancer. Instagram fact checkers, good job. That gal's full of crap. She has no idea what she's talking about. She's obviously never had analytical chemistry or learned anything about acid-base balance uh, based on her comments about sugar being acidic. All right, guys, hope you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you next week.